Yo, what's good guys? Do your edits look choppy and not smooth like this? Do you ever wish you had the perfect smooth Twixer to make your edits pop? Well, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to create my viral and smooth Twixter that I use for all of my edits. Trust me, after using this Twixter, your edits will look 10 times better. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and like the video. Without further ado, let's get straight to the tutorial. All right, first things first, what you guys want to do is have all of your clips aligned with your song in the correct way. I won't be using any songs because of copyright issues, but you guys will still understand the tutorial either way. Then what you guys want to do is pre-compose all of your clips and I will do that right now after you pre-compose all of your clips what you guys want to do is go right here to the right where it says effects and presets you want to click it and it might load a little bit it might take a little bit to load and then what you guys want to do is type Twixter. Then you'll see three options. You want to go ahead and just use the first one that just says Twixter. And then click on the, the Twixter and drag it to your first clip. And after you drag it on the left, it will show a bunch of like settings. And you want to make sure that the in FPS is out FPS. You want to, you can unclick it and make sure it's 29.97. This is very important. After you do that, you want to make sure motion vectors is as best. You want to make sure image prep is as contrast edge enhance. You want to make sure that the time remap mode is speed, but it probably is. And frame interp, it's motion weighted blend. Then after you guys do that is you want to go ahead and you see where it says speed you want to go ahead and click the little stopwatch next to it after you click the little stopwatch you want to click U to see the keyframes after you see the keyframes then you want to go right go ahead and type in 200 at the very start of the clip then go forward some frames it doesn't it's not really specific but it's all right, just a little bit forward and type 40 then after you type 40 you want to go ahead and look to the bottom left the key to add another keyframe and you want to click it because you need to add another keyframe as 40 then at the end you want to put it as 180 and after you guys do that you want you select your clips control c just like last video control v then click u and hold alt and drag it to the end of the other clip and then you guys do this for every clip just like so it's pretty easy so yeah it shouldn't take long just like that like this you there and then right here go v you and so you may have to drag it forward a little bit but it's okay and there you have it this is how you create my twixter if you guys want you can use graphs with the flow right here to the right or you can use normal graphs but for me i don't use any graphs at all because i think it's just smoother that way but it all depends on what type of edit you you're gonna do so if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to leave a like and subscribe it will help me a ton thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video